Hi guys, welcome to Refer UX. I'm Nimesh, and you are viewing the part two of uh, installation and configuration of POFTPD server using Scratch method. This is a three video series, and part one already have done, and you can view that using the link below in the description. There we have installed and tested the POFTPD with the default uh, configuration. Now, in this video, we will try to implement virtual users where uh, security mechanism in, in introduced in POFTPD to enhance security using uh, creating virtual users to access its own files only. So, we'll begin. Here, we are going to implement access to the POFTPD using virtual users. It's uh, security mechanism implemented in POFTPD. All right, first we need to do that. We need to clean our previous installation. To do that, first we will use make clean command to clean the build file previously. Then we will, we will use make dist clean command to completely wipe out the previous installation. Okay. Now, we will create two files, which are one for password file to be maintained for the new virtual users, that is pofdpd.passwd. Using touch command, we can create this. Secondly, we need to create a database file, namely POFTPD.pdb to store the information of the new virtual users. With that done, we can now in run the configure command in order to configure the script of POFTPD. Here we can configure, unlike previous in, uh, video in part one, other than with everything we can use with TLS because we have to use it because we are you we are creating virtual users here and we need to implement access to the virtual users so that we have to compile or rather configure specifically with uh, with TLS or other TLS parameter. Here you can see that we don't get the error of unavailability of G, uh, C compiler because we have installed a C compiler previously in video part one, part one. If anyone didn't watch the part one, they can watch that using the video link in the description. All right, here we have encountered another error that is unavailability of OpenSSL. So in order to use TLS, we need to have an OpenSSL installed in our machine. Since we don't have installed it, we can install it using yum command uh, as below, yum uh, minus y install OpenSSL minus devel. -E you can see now it is getting installed. Due to depending on your network connection, it, the time it takes to install depends.
Okay, now it is uh, updating and starting. Okay. Done. We are now good to go because we have successfully installed OpenSSL. With that, we can run the previous command that is configure command. And now hopefully we don't have any issue errors uh, encountered. Great. If you get this message, which means that you have successfully configured the PFTPD with the given parameters. With that, now, as in the previous video, we can use make command in order to build the script and then we can use make install to install the uh, relevant uh, files or the uh, build script. Right, make command done successfully. Now we can use make install command to install this script, the build script. Cool. It is also done successfully. Now, we will copy the pure ftpd dot conf file to the sorry pure config dot pl file to the sbin directory As you can see, uh, we have previously copied that file to the SBIN directory where those files can be accessed only by uh, admins or rather root privilege. Now we have to overwrite it. Then we will change the uh, mode or the access rights of the file using a 755. Uh, as you know, uh, 7 means uh, all uh, user, all of the file can do anything, read, write, ex uh, execute, where others can do only read and write. Then we will create a separate file directory called ftp.files uh, for the virtual users to maintain their files. Then we will create a new user which is called POFTPD. Under this user, uh, new, new, uh, new virtual users will be added. Then we will edit the password file, uh, passwd file of the particular of this uh, newly created user that is POFTPD, as uh, they will change the will will change the uh, bash at the end of that final line into no login, which means any of the new user coming under this fast, uh, which comes under the category of POFTPD, should give the username and password to log. Okay, now we have to say we can save the past wg file and close it. Now we can change the ownership of the uh, POFTPD uh, file or other user uh, as a group user as well as the uh, normal user that is the two FTPDs are there uh, to the uh, and can give the uh, ownership to the FTPD.files directory we created. Seems we have given the command incorrectly. Okay, we um, 
we should not uh, uh, add minus u group and minus g group as well as minus m that is created in database here we can simply add uh, ch on minus r that is for the recursive that is every uh, uh, restart in the machine we have we don't have to give this command again and again and we can give pftp the user and the group access all to the ftpt dot files directory cool it's work now we need to find a very uh, specific file uh, script that is po minus uh, or po uh, uh, hyphen uh, pwd pw script now this is where a lot of people find uh, difficult or uh, in this crash method because uh, everybody looks or uh, most of the information says you look that file inside the pftpd dot uh, the particular folder or directory Un unfortunately it's not there that is the most common issue if you, but if you go to uh, one directory be, uh, behind that is to the bin directory, you can clearly see that in the green color, POPW uh, script is there. Uh, green means you can execute it. So now we can execute uh, that file, that POPW script, and using that, we can add new users. Any users you can add, here we will add a new user as user1, that is user add command, and minus u, you, uh, POFTPD means it is coming and the user POPD FTPD as well as the group that is POFTPD and minus the F, uh, FTP dot files means they are coming under directory which means they are allowed to access directory of FTPD files only and minus n means we are giving uh, the command to create that information in the database we created and if you have given it successfully you will get a ask for a password you can give any password and you can send it again which means uh, if there's no error there we uh, are we have done it correctly then we will edit um, popftpd.con file in order to uh, give relevant uh, access parameters here just like previously if you remember we have given the com uh, access command uh, change the parameter of uh, no anonymous to uh, yes no to yes which means you have to give credentials in order to log to the system here we will do a simple a simple uh, change that is we will uncomment the po db that is database file unchecked because here we are using a database so po db that is here defaultly it is uncommented that is as a it's Commented means it's not there. So we have uncommented. We have removed the hashtag, which means it's working now. So you can see, save and close it. After doing that, we can give one of the important command that is making the database. That is popw space mkdb now the database has been created to list the created users you can use this particular command popw list so that you can see clearly user one has been created and he can access ftp.files directory with that done now we are good to go to check this now we can give the po config pl space slash etc slash po ftpd.conf uh, command to run the po ftpd Voila. If you get this kind of a message, which means you have correctly done the installation part to, uh, to um, make live these uh, commands, we have restart the VM in order, to, in order to work these commands properly. Uh, un unless you restart the machine, sometimes you will find some issues uh, while checking this installation. So that if you restart the machine, all these commands will be enforced properly. Okay, my machine is getting restarted. We'll wait some time. Okay, I'll give my password now. Oh, 
okay now i'll open the terminal and change my uh, mode into the super user mode uh, again i have to give my password okay now i run the uh, i'll i'll change my directory to the pure FTPD directory at the bin directory, then I'll run this particular command in order to run the POFTPD. All right, now everything seems okay. Now we will use uh, FileZilla client to log to FTPD server as a virtual user. Here we'll uh, get another new site to check, uh, show you uh, separately how it works. Again, I need to check my uh, IP uh, of Linux machine using IF command, I can find it. As you know, Yeah, I push press connect and uh, it pop up my password. I'll give my password. Okay. All right. Successfully connected to the uh, uh, files.ftpd.file uh, directory. It is, I have logged to the PFTPD server as a virtual user. That is user one. You can see clearly. Okay. In order to check whether actually user one can access files in the ftp.files directory, we will first go to the particular directory ftp.files and then using touch command, we will create a sample text file that is user one.txt. Then I will edit the particular text file using gedit command, gedit tool, and give a random. Uh, value or are the uh, comment there like this is the uh, file allocated for user one kind of that okay now we can save it and we can close it now if we go back to the filezilla and if we refresh it what we can see is the file that we have just created has been appeared there you can see you can download if you want to view the to, you know to, okay through the web browser also we can see the same if we access to the uh, Linux boss, uh, Linux box, and we, if we uh, log in using the virtual user credentials, user one and their pa its password, you can clearly see that user one dot text file is appeared proper nicely. And if we can click it, it is open, and you can see the comment that we have entered. See, only that file is visible to user one. That is how they have implemented security using virtual users in POFTPD. In this video. We learned how to implement virtual users in POFTPD in order to implement security uh, in there. Next video, we will learn how to implement transport layer security that is certificate based login in POFTPD. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please like and share the video to get alerts. In future videos, please press subscribe button. Till meet next time, good luck.